market update for the 27th so getting to this kind of late today but uh we had fomc today powell raised by 75 basis points and the market loved it we rallied from 390 all the way to uh, 403 the first part of the rally was from earnings last night with Google and Microsoft. And then the second part of the earnings was after Powell um, gave the rate raise. And so we had a 2.6% move today. And so now the question is, are we bullish or bearish from here? And it's really, it's really, to me, it's probably, if I had to give my percentage of what I think we're bullish versus bearish, I think I would go with something like 80-20 um, bearish, in my opinion. And I'll show you why. Uh, we have A, A, B, C. These are not disputed at all. This move right here, though, going from B to C, I like this as an A, B, C pattern. Um, it actually fits perfectly for a five wave move, but again, I like to use parallel lines and the parallel lines, I need the third wave to come outside the line to consider it a third wave. That's just the way I chart. And as you can see, um, the first, the second, the third wave does not come outside of this parallel line. It's close. But it doesn't come outside of it and it looks like a perfect five wave but i'm going to stick with the parallel lines to consider this an a b c pattern and this first and second wave the second wave does not come all the way back to the 50 percent retracement um, i like to see at least 50 percent to uh, make sure that's what it is because a b wave can come back to the 38 the 0.38 fib all the way to the 0.5 fib so for these reasons, I like this as an ABC pattern. And so far, I think all of these are ABC patterns. So ABC, ABC, ABC. And so then we get to this one though. And we have clear ABC right here, which would be the A wave down. And then we get this move right here. And if you go to the 30 minute chart, uh, this one, could be a five wave move, but again, if we go like this and we go to the very top, we didn't really retrace very far at all. We got back to the 0.23 fib and then we blasted off again. So again, that doesn't look like an impulsive move. Uh, I mean, it does look impulsive, but it doesn't have the characteristics of a five wave move. I think it's more of an ABC move, but then again, it's up to interpretation. So I think there's two different possibilities um, and I'm leaning bearish and the first possibility we'll go over the bearish possibility first. And that is that we're doing an expanded flat. So we have ABC here, ABC here for B, and then we're going to see a five wave move down here for D um, through probably August 10th all the way to OPEX maybe. So maybe all the way to August 19th, something like that. We'll see a five wave move down um, to that level, maybe shorter than that, maybe 383, 386, somewhere in that range, because that's the 1.61 fib. So somewhere maybe around 383, 38, so maybe over in here. Um, so that's the first possibility. That's a bearish possibility. The second possibility is that um, we are ABC, ABC pullback, and then we get a five wave move. One, two, three, four, five. Um, the thing is, this does not look like a five wave move, but if that were to happen, I would be looking for probably close to 418 to 420. And then I'd have to change this whole thing um, because this C wave, again, went exactly where the bottom of this was. So we went here to there.
look at that. It actually didn't hit the top. And so uh, there's a possibility that we go a little bit higher, maybe 4.04 in the morning. Uh, I think it was bearish. I think the future's a little bit bearish, but maybe hit the top of this. And that would be about the 1.23 fib of this um, A move. Something like that. Almost 1.5. So maybe we hit the top right here. And then we move bearish. I really think I really think it's going to be a bearish move. That's just my um, feeling on this. I feel like this is kind of... Um, it's just an expanded flat. So it's kind of a way to knock both sides off balance. You got the bulls are now super bullish and you got the bears doubting the position. Um, the options chain today was pretty outrageous. It was like 400 to 402 still had like almost 100,000 calls and you didn't see any big um, put walls all the way to at like 395. You had 395, I think you had like 100,000 maybe on the puts. But then 396 up was 100,000 and to like 40,000 puts. And so they just slammed this move. And it kind of seems like it's a, a way to get space almost. So that if we do sell off, we don't go too far. Um, and so they just slam it up here. And then they then when we sell off, we'll be able to hit their level that they want. If we just went up to here, we maybe we sell off too much. Um, that's just a theory of a thought of mine because the options chain didn't make any sense today either. I haven't seen it um, finish that lopsided in a long time. So that was very interesting. That was an observation. And then this move does not look impulsive to me. I mean, it's an impulsive move, but it looks like an ABC pattern to me. So I'm leaning bearish, like I said, but there is a possibility that we could go higher to... Um, 418 to 420, but I highly doubt maybe breaking the top of this, maybe only uh, hit this resistance right here, which was my original target, but we would still hit that right here on the E-Wave here later in the month or in early September. So those are the two, the two uh, ways this could go. Let's go over the dollar now. The dollar is trying to come down it's a little bit stronger than it was earlier but i still see this as a abc move down to about 104 for a fourth wave because it had already broken the 0.38 fib on this move right here so we had one two three four five um, and then we're doing the abc down if I zoom out here, you can see a fourth wave is going to cover basically all of this move right here. So one, two, three, four. And so we need to come back up here probably to 108. Maybe not that far. Maybe 107.50 to 108. We're at 107.40 today. So then we'll have X, Y, and then Z down here. And maybe that will take us um, to, you know, 415 to 417 in early September or so. So, and then after that, we all know what comes. We have the big move higher for the end of the fifth wave. So, it still remains to be seen if this is actually a fourth wave because we still don't have that red candle on the monthly. But I am going to say that I think it pretty much is. The VIX just uh, down here at low 20s hanging out. This is the only one that's kind of like if he could go either way. But yeah, because like even right here, you can't really, Elliott Wave wouldn't work with this because look at this, this is a seven wave move. There's no way that's. That is going to work. We can go to the four hour chart though, and we can see that maybe we have A, B, C, and then B. So we'd have A, B, and then 
get one more move higher to get the spy down in the 380s again and then the last move lower possibly after that so those are my thoughts two different ways we could go probably down to 383 to 8386 or we just start keep on going up now but i'm going to favor the strategy of going down and then coming back up after that so that's the update for today uh please subscribe and like the video if you want to see more updates in the future as i usually put out a video um, after the market closes so i will try to do that again tomorrow i'll see you then